During a religious celebration in Chudenbiri, northern Nigeria, an airstrike hit the village, killing at least 85 people, including women and children, with 66 others injured. The drone strike was confirmed by Nigeria's military, and President Bola Ahmed Tinubu referred to it as a bombing mishap. The incident occurred amid Nigeria's ongoing struggle against extremist groups and armed gangs, leading to increased use of airstrikes, resulting in accidental bombings. This particular strike, on Sunday, was the deadliest, with conflicting death tolls reported by Amnesty International and the government. President Tinubu called for a thorough investigation, acknowledging the tragic nature of the incident. The military, represented by Lieutenant General Daurid Lagbaha, admitted responsibility, citing a misinterpretation of the activities observed. The victims, gathered for a Muslim celebration, experienced a tragic turn of events, highlighting the challenges faced by Nigeria in addressing security crises. Nigeria, confronting security challenges, grapples with Boko Haram in the northeast and armed gangs in the northwest. Tinubu's administration, despite receiving significant U.S. security assistance, faces scrutiny over human rights abuses by the military. Last year, a major weapons deal was approved, though concerns persist among some U.S. lawmakers. Nigeria's military has faced accusations of civilian casualties from airstrikes, but changes in the U.S. stance are considered unlikely due to Nigeria's perceived role as a reliable security partner in the region. Amnesty International reported at least 120 civilian casualties from two strikes, emphasizing the lack of accountability and compensation for victims in previous accidental bombings. The normalization of such incidents has contributed to a diminishing public outrage in Nigeria. <laughs>